Hello. Today's activity is to write a what am I poem. I'm going to give you an example. We're going to write a poem about a tree. But the tricky thing is we're not going to use our sense of sight. We have five senses. We have sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. And so I want you to write a poem that uses, in this case you wouldn't use taste because you wouldn't want to taste this tree, but there are some trees that you could taste but you can, for instance, smell. If you get a gum leaf, squash it up. What does it smell like? And the, the touch. What does the bark feel like? This is an iron bark and its bark is really rough and it's corrugated. You can feel deep corrugations in the, in the bark. Um, what do the the leaves are they smooth are they the same texture on both sides some leaves are shiny on top and less shiny underneath they're a bit dull they're matte and they feel different when you taste when you um when you touch them and as for sound just stand and be still and listen and you can hear, you can hear those leaves rustling in the breeze. Now, if obviously, if you're outside and it's not windy, you may not hear those sounds, but you may hear the sounds of the birds that are in the trees. You may hear, I can hear birds in the background now. You may be able to hear in this sort of tree, you may be able to hear bees. When these little gum nuts come out, there'll be bees buzzing all around here. This sort of tree supports in the afternoons, you might get cockatoos screeching, you might get galahs, you might get parrots, crimson rosellas. So what I want you to do is go and write a poem using all those different things, put it all together and make a little story that will let me know who am I without telling me what, what I actually can see. Go to it.